Hello friends, welcome. This is Jason here at Phrygian Frog Music Professionals. Feel free to visit us at phrygianfrog.com. Today I'd like to continue with our audio interface series. I have booted up Studio One for Professional. I do work in Studio One quite a bit. It's a great DAW. That being said, let's configure an audio device. I would click on Configure Audio Device and then go in here and choose the Focusrite USB audio interface. If I have multiple devices, I want to make sure I choose the right one. Device block size, so what this has to do with is how many samples. Now this is very important for any DAW that you're in. The lower the samples, the lower the latency when recording. Whereas the higher, the more latency. Latency is not a big deal when you're playing back. In fact, if, you've, if you're playing back a whole bunch of tracks, you probably want to make this pretty high, okay? Now with that being said, I'm going to hit control panel here. And it tells me that um, it is locked, so uh, which is fine, <laughs> okay? Uh, and what that means is that if I, if I try to go switch, I'm going to pull it up to another screen here. Looks like this, okay? So the sample rate is at 48,000 or 48 uh, kilohertz. And the, here's the buffer size. It's at 256 right now. Okay, so I can change that to 512 to 1024, and, and this all uh, is dependent on your system and how it's going to act when you record, okay? And let's just say I'll go back to um, you know, 192 as an example here, okay? And what my goal is, if you notice over here, my goal is to really be under 10 or less um, latency wise milliseconds uh, because you're going to really start to hear it after you get past 10 in, in my opinion some people can hear three milliseconds okay but if your system is a, a really good system you, you might even be able to bump this down to as small as possible and let's see I said one you know 28 whatever as far as the um, you know sample sizes here they're comparable to that it, if there is a 128 or somewhere close we'll just try that okay now uh, what i'm looking at here now is 5.67 milliseconds so i have found something that's going to work pretty well and these just locked into each other okay um it, so uh 5.67 is that's great for recording all right so that works you may find a sweet spot that you can leave your interface at it this really depends on your processor and your RAM, okay? Now this processing thing is a, is a little tricky. This has to do really with um, low latency mining for instruments, but where it really kicks in down here has to do with virtual instruments. So uh, we could get into that in another video. But for right now, say I just wanna set this up for recording. So here we go, gonna close these. I'm gonna create a new song again. When I'm creating a new song, I always think it's a good idea to put the date in there. Uh, I also want to uh, point out that if you have professional versions of DAWs, there are templates available for you. But no matter what, every DAW will not have setups for every audio interface. So because of that, I am going to show you how you can make one. All right, so you could choose all of these things. I'm going to choose 48 as my sample rate, and these are the different rates that the Focusrite device has. And resolution-wise, these are the different rates. Choose 24-bit and hit OK. Now, one thing you have to do is set up your interface. Unfortunately, the ins and outs, are it, they're not just going to find themselves. You have to tell them. So I'm going to go to Song. And I'm going to go to uh, the setup and there's an audio in and out setup. Now, right now, it's it's like, well, here's a bunch of channels. Well, I had a other interface on here. My interface only, it's a 2i2. So it's a Focusrite 2i2. So uh, yeah, I do have two inputs, but that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of these. So you got to know your ins and your outs, okay? And if you don't remember the ins and outs, 
please refer to my um, you know last video. Now we have mono mono, meaning if I plug one thing in to input one or the left, that is that is mono. If I input uh, something in the other one, that is mono. I can also put things in in both, and I can do what's called stereo. Okay, so I could call this um, stereo LR or stereo L. You could basically name these what you want to name them. Uh, I like to just put um, left uh, and then right. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, I got my microphone going in there already. Hey, so it's working. How about that? And I haven't even done much yet. So I just turned my um, input up a little bit. Don't forget if you use a condenser mic, you do have to press the 48V button for phantom power. Now, over here on the right is output, so don't think you're done, okay? The uh, uh, Focusrite 2i2 has two in and two outs, all right? So looks like it has, uh, let me get rid of all of these, okay? All right, so it has outputs and it's left and right for outs. So I'm going to just call this the main um, L plus R out, okay? Because that's what it is. Now, uh, the other thing I like to do is go to my mixer and double check and make sure this, you have external ins, outs, and so on. So all of these things can be turned on. Notice right now, I'm here, I'll take some of these off. There we go. Um, my inputs, it, it's working right there. Okay, there's my left one right there I'm plugged into. And if I want to put things on there, I can, that's fine. Um, and then here, of course, is my output. Now, input is just monitoring for recording, okay? I don't actually have any channels I'm recording on yet. Uh, the, this is just monitoring, that's it, okay? So let me now go and I'll throw an audio track on there. And in order to get it to, I have to choose left or right. Those are the things I just made. I need to choose, and it's mono, mono versus stereo, uh, record, or I could just hit the monitor button. No matter what, I'm getting level. Now, now that I have a level, I'm gonna go ahead here and I see it here and I'm gonna turn this off. Notice now that I have a level, my channel uh, that I just created has also a mixer channel, track one, track one. I recommend you name yours. All right, and now what I'm going to do, uh, and it's coming out the main way over here is gain stage. Gain stage, uh, anywhere between really uh, negative 18 to negative 10 is, is what we call safe gain staging for recording. And uh, let me just do a couple checks. Test, check, one, two, test, check, test, check, one, two. And say I recorded this, and I, I'm in a pretty good spot there. There we go, I'm recording, test, check, one, two, and I'm good. So now I'm ready to record. Now, let me hit stop. Uh, I'm just recording with an SM50, uh, let's see, 57 right now. You can record with all kinds of microphones, but this Focusrite 2i2 also has a quarter inch, so I could plug a guitar into it. I have to make sure that I switch it to instrument when I do that. Remember, there's a little switch on the 2i2, uh, or uh, I can um, do what's called line. What is line? Where would I need line? Well, here's an example. Say I really want to take an old cassette that I have, run RCA out into the left and right channel quarter inches. And yes, you'll have to have adapter cables and so on for that. And then I want to record my cassettes in. I could do that. But when I do that, I want to make sure I switch that to line. I need that at line level. Okay. Whereas instrument level is for your, you know, your instruments, whether it be your bass, guitar, and so on. Now, line TRS is typically the type of cable you need for line level as well, not just a standard instrument cable like a guitar cable. You need a TRS cable. All right. So hopefully that has shown you uh, simple ways to get this set up. One last thing go back to my mixer. There's an in and out right here. And in my internet, let me turn my mic down. Okay, and on my um, ins and outs, there's one thing down here that's wonderful. You can actually export this setup 
right here as my focus right USB to I to set up. And why I think that's important is this, and I actually saved mine somewhere else, um, uh, is say I have multiple devices, which I do, I can import then that, that preset, which is wonderful. And most DAWs, not all, have that feature, okay? So for example, if I'm using a different uh, interface, I would set it up, and the one thing is you set it up once, you come back to it, hey, hey, you're all good, right? So you just import it, boom, done. You can make it your default if it's your only interface. Click make default and it'll go to those settings right away and you don't have to mess with them then. That is the Focusrite 2i2 and that's how to set it up in Studio One. Hit like and share.